All right, so I was having this trouble, which is that I have these pipes and I wasn't getting a clean cut on them. Let's see. Maybe Let's see if I can find one of the non clean cuts. I think they all got decimated. Oh, here. Here we go. Okay, so I wasn't getting any clean cuts, and apparently I'm crappy at aligning things by hand. So, you know, I made this line. And then I couldn't cut straight along it. I was having a lot of problems. Part of the thing was that the saw won't go all the way through. It's lower now, but even at its height, it won't go this high. So I was using this sled and I had, I'm terribly afraid of things flying off the table saw as a result of some uh, ask me why incidents uh, that I had a while ago. First of all, riving knife. You are everybody's best friend. If your table doesn't have a riving knife, you are sad and in danger. I don't have a saw stop, but hey. Anyway, so part of my thing was that, you know, I had it clamped. I only had a smaller clamp down here before and it was really annoying because there was no way to do it. But this works better. And uh, then, so I would do one cut, or one cut, unclamp, rotate, and cut again. I, I had to do it three times for each one of these four inch pipes. Um, but what happened is that the piece would move like this every time I rotated it. And I was trying to figure out how to keep it a certain distance. So I posted on Facebook this query about how to do this, sort of do this. I mean, I really wanted to just use the stupid tool, which I don't have in front of me. Um, but I didn't want to spend $100 for it. So, <clears throat> what I did was I, I, so anyway, I posted it on Facebook. Thank you everybody who posted uh, responses and suggestions. Uh, a lot of people suggested using a miter box. Essentially, I'm already using a miter box and the problem is really the fact that it slides this direction. Uh, a lot of people said use a handsaw. I am not that great with the handsaw, so I didn't do that. Um, so, subsequently overnight, a bunch of people posted some really good stuff. Like, there's actually a Garrot. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, I 3D printed this thing. It took me, you know, a minute to design and an hour to print, but I wasn't actually doing anything while it was printing. Eh, it came out okay. It's the crappiest print settings, etc. I put little three millimeter holes in it in case I wanted to be able, in case I needed to stabilize it against the pipe. Um, and it slips right over the pipe and basically provides an end stop so that I can rotate the pipe and know that it's in the correct position. There's still a little bit of, little bit of give, but creates pretty good edges. See, there's a little, it's a little off. Well, let's see if I can clean that up slightly. These are both pretty much exactly the same size, hopefully. So, uh, I'm a little bit loath to cut them again. But maybe what I'll do, ahem, maybe I'll take another piece off. The whole reason why I needed to do this in the first place was because I needed a nine inch section of this, which, you know what? That's too, too much of a problem to get out right now. What I will do is I will just, demonstrate using this. 
and take off the very minimal amount. Maybe from each. So, sort of slippering it. That was too much. That's exactly right. That. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. And that's a pretty clean edge. It's still not entirely perfect, but I was able to get down to some little weird slices like this. Let's see how far off it is now. Okay, I could probably do to cut this one again now. So I'll do another. One of my questions was how, which rotation is better? This, this side seems kind of jacked up. These things are supposed to sit flat, their whole reason to be is, uh, these are things I was using with slack line. They're probably not the best solution for that, but I didn't want to weld up something just for that. Okay. things sit flat. Now that one's slightly shorter than the other, but that's okay. So that's pretty true. That was, that was good. It was better at it that time. I think stabilizing it with my hand is a good idea. Still get some, some artifacts. Anywho. That's the, that's my solution. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right.